guys so today I'm gonna to be doing a chatty get ready with me um, I just woke up not too long ago and as you guys can tell from my hair my robe here I need to get dressed ready to go get my day started so we're just gonna sit here chit chat about life talk about topics that are like in my mind while I drink my coffee and put on my face so let's get right into it um, I'm not gonna really talk about each product I'm just gonna kind of use it but I'll list all the products that I'm using somewhere in the video. Unless I like, really like something, then I'll go ahead and talk about it. So I don't even know where to start because I've never really done like a chatty video like this where I just like turned on my camera and started talking. I feel like I used to do them like when I first started YouTube, but I haven't really done one like it in such a long time. So I don't even know. I guess I can just start off by talking about the product that I'm using first. Um, this is the Shiseido Day Cream. I talked about this in my December favorites and I really like this cream, especially because it has SPF in it. And I'm actually like crazy about using SPF right now because last night, you guys, I used um, a chemical peel on my skin. I actually should have it right here so I can show you guys. So this is from The Ordinary and this is called the HA 30% BHA 2% Chemical Peel or this is called the peeling solution and you guys my skin I woke up this morning and it was just like insane like so bright and like the texture that I had last night was completely gone not completely but like it faded so much and I don't know it just looks and feels so smooth so I really really like this peeling solution if you guys want me to do like a whole video because it's such a like a weird looking product let me know and I can tell you guys exactly what it is and uh, why I love it so much so yeah I can definitely do that anyways um, I do want to talk about something that is so funny to me um, that I actually didn't even notice until so many of you guys pointed it out to me and in the beginning I was like, mm, are these kind of like hate comments? And then I was really looking at my videos and I was like, oh, maybe they're not so hate comments. Maybe there is some truth to it. And that is about my cheeks. A lot of you guys seem to think that I'm pregnant or I've got cheek fillers, which what? Oh my God. So I guess I can just address those rumors right now. No, I'm not pregnant. I promise you guys I'm not pregnant. Um, I actually have gained some weight. I've gained like almost close to 10 pounds. I'm 5'5", five five, which is I guess like medium height, but I have a really small frame. Like my body itself is actually really tiny. So 10 pounds for me, or like close to 10 pounds, is actually a lot because, like I said, I have such a small frame. I'm pretty happy with where my weight is. Um, I don't really wanna lose any weight because I have always been underweight basically my whole life. Um, I just want to turn the fat into muscle so right now I'm going back to the gym I've been working out hard I'm like doing a lot more cardio a lot more weight training like that's my biggest goal because like I said I just want to turn the fat that is already in my body into muscle so I know a lot of you guys think I'm pregnant but like I said I'm definitely not and I definitely did not get cheek fillers you guys I don't know why I would get cheek fillers. Like, I don't even know how to prove it to you guys, but I'm pressing my face here, I'm doing this. Like, I don't have cheek fillers. Um, not that I'm against any sort of plastic surgery. If it makes you feel good, go for it. Like, there's nothing wrong with, you know, making yourself feel better. Like, it's kind of like going to the gym, right? You know, you're not comfortable with something, so you're trying to work at it to improve it. And that's kind of like the same way I look at plastic surgery. And I'm gonna be completely 100% with you guys especially in the world that I'm in and when I attend all these like beauty events you guys everyone there not everyone but a large majority of the girls there and guys have had at least their lips done you know everyone has gotten Botox everyone has gotten some sort of fillers so of course you do feel a little bit pressured you know to do some sort of plastic surgery even for someone like me like you guys are gonna like be so shocked when I tell you this um, but don't get mad at me. I'm just being completely honest with you guys um, But recently at least like for the past three months or so I have been considering getting my lips done. I Know crazy right now. Let's go backwards a little bit. So my lips Naturally are pretty full like right now. They don't look very full But they are pretty full like you know if I line them a certain way or if I apply a gloss like for, and for my face shape and my face in general, they're not too thin. And I do really like the shape of my lips. 
The only thing that I don't like about my lips is that the top and the bottom are exactly the same size. In fact, I think my top lip might be a little bit bigger than my bottom lip. So what I was thinking of doing was just getting fillers on the bottom of my lip to make my bottom lip appear a little bit larger than my top. And you guys, I actually almost did it. Can I tell you that? I almost did it. I was like, you know, looking up doctors and like really considering doing it. But then I had to really take a step back. Um, like I said, I'm not against any plastic surgery at all. I can totally see myself getting like Botox, especially like on my forehead because I do have, you guys know I have really dry skin and I do see some fine lines on my forehead especially. Um, and it is so common so it wouldn't bother me at all. But for my lips, I really had to take a step back and like really talk to myself and say, okay, Arshia, do you really have a problem with your lips or is it because everyone on social media has gotten their lips done. Like what exactly is it? Are you trying to follow a trend or are you really trying to do something to better yourself? And when I had that like really honest conversation with myself, I was like, girl, you're only doing this because everyone else on social media has done it. So I talked myself out of it and honestly so many people in my life would be so disappointed in me if I like altered the way my face looked, you know what I mean? Again, I'm gonna go back and say there's nothing wrong with it if you do it, this is just like me being 100% honest with you guys. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there has also or have also had like, you know, certain thoughts to get XYZ done to your face or your body and there's really nothing wrong with that if you're doing it for yourself. I knew right away that, you know, the thoughts that I was having really wasn't for myself. I was doing it because everyone on social media was doing it and that's not okay. You know what I mean? Actually, let's talk about, you know, being pregnant and kids and stuff really quick because I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, when that's going to happen. So I've been married now for three years. Uh, we just celebrated our three year anniversary, which was amazing. I can't believe it's been that long. Like I literally feel like it was yesterday when I got married. Um, but you guys, I'm just at a point in my life where I don't think I want kids right now. I think I would want to be pregnant before 30, like in my perfect world, I would like to be pregnant before the age of 30. I'm 27 right now. Um, but I'm just like not there yet, you know, like mentally I'm just not there yet. My husband's not there yet. And you guys, I know that this sounds kind of crazy because you know, Kobe's a dog, but he's so much work. Like if you have a dog, you know what I'm talking about. He is so much work. Like he's such an easy dog, but still he's a lot of work. But I do know that I want to have kids one day. Um, I would like to have two kids. That's like my ideal, you know, and again, in my perfect world, I would want two kids. It's just not there yet, but one day I will have kids. And that's like my biggest dream, like most girls, right? Every girl wants, or most girls want, to have a family of their own, um, that's, that's exactly what I want and I just love like mommy bloggers so much. I do follow a few mommy bloggers and like seeing pictures of like their kids with them. It's so cute you guys. I love that stuff. So 100% definitely I want kids um, but I'm just like not there yet. I do think that 2018 though I'm going to really focus a lot more on work. By the way, when I say work, you guys, I do YouTube slash social media full time. Um, you guys know I was at Cosmo before working, you know, for myself. And it's honestly been like one of the best, yet one of the hardest things I've ever had to do to work for myself. Um, a lot of people think that, you know, working for yourself, being a YouTuber is like so easy. All you do is just like film videos and people just pay you. and you know, it's not easy like that at all. And it truly is a business and it's crazy to me that a lot of people don't understand and don't look at this world as a business. Sorry guys, I just had to fix my camera a little bit. But as I was saying, um, yeah, I mean, social media truly is a business and I'm so thankful that this is my full-time job. Like seriously, how many people can say that? And I genuinely love what I do. Um, you know, but I have to of course think about the long run. You know, I have some things that I'm like working on. A lot of it is just in my own head and I do need a really strong team to kind of bring it to life. But a lot of it I am working on as well, like 
in real life. So I do think that 2018 is going to be like an amazing year for me. And even if it's not, I'm just going to have to like tell myself that you guys, um, because of course you do have to be positive. You know what I mean? Like you have to go into the new year with happy, positive thoughts. Like even if you are going through a hard time, I actually just want to, well, I'm totally going off subject right now, but if you are going through like a tough time in your life and you're really feeling so down, I really want you guys to like shift your focus, shift your mindset and tell yourself that, you know what? I don't give a shit what's happening to me right now. I might be going through a tough time, but next year is going to be my year. I'm going to make 2018 my year. And you know, if you just think happy thoughts and like fake it till you make it, you will get there. I promise you. That's exactly what, you know, I'm telling myself. And honestly, 2017 was genuinely one of the best years of my life both like personally and professionally. Making some amazing connections and connecting with incredible people and I'm just really excited to take all that and you know, make 2018 like amazing. You know what I mean? I don't wanna to talk too, too much about it right now because nothing has been done but I just wanna do something that really kind of like I don't know you guys, like I kind of want to like take a back seat and not be like the face of something. I want to highlight other women and men, if that makes sense. So we'll see how 2018 goes, but I do think I'm going to work even harder to make stuff happen. Let's talk about like being, you know, part of like the whole influencer game and like, you know, attending events and going and seeing people how that is and how I interact with everyone. It is kind of intimidating, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, when I get invited to events, not in really New York, because New York, the influencer space is so small and there's not very many of us, so it's always like the same people at every event and I know all the girls, which I love, um, and they're like some of my favorite girls in the industry, but you know, when I, if I've attended an event in LA or you know, people from LA are in New York, it's a lot, you know, it's like a pretty intimidating thing to just like go up and say hi to someone and introduce yourself, but I've kind of become, you know, I'm in that mindset right now that again, fake it till you make it. Even if I'm nervous, you guys, about something, and this is not just influencers, this is just people in general. Even if I am nervous to go to a meeting or, you know, to meet someone new or like to introduce myself, I literally like go into a whole new space where I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna go in, say hi to them, and introduce myself. What's like the worst that can happen, you know? And I do that, and can I tell you, like networking has changed my life. It really has, not just with influencers, I'm talking about with anyone in general. Like if I have, if I wanna talk to someone, I'm just like not afraid anymore, I just like go up to them and I introduce myself. And yeah, sometimes, you know, people are just like, mm -hmm, that's nice and not really interested. But most of the time, people have been so responsive to me and they like actually are interested in what I have to say. And we have this nice conversation and, you know, it's it's been amazing. So like if you are, I guess my whole like point of talking about this is if you are in this industry or basically like really any industry, you know, especially if you are selling something make sure to network because it's not about how good you are it's about who you know and that truly is like the best thing i can tell anyone out there for basically in any industry you have to network that's exactly like the mindset that i'm in because i don't have millions of followers you know i don't have you know millions of subscribers so i have to work like 10 times harder to get any job that i have you know so I love networking and just meeting people and like introducing myself and telling them my story and you know why I love their brand or whatever and I've seen a really good return from that so oh let's talk about 2018 and like you know what my resolutions and all that good stuff are so obviously I want to you know get back in shape I'm already starting that you know this year like why wait for next year I'm already starting it this year and I really want to like, you know, take my body to the next level because whenever I like don't eat healthy and I don't work out, I not only physically feel it, I mentally feel it as well. Like I can just feel myself almost becoming like depressed for no reason. Like even when everything is like amazing in my life, 
I feel like this like dark cloud over me but when I go work out and I like burn off all that like excess energy that I have and I eat really clean I feel so good mentally like my perfect days you guys I'll tell you exactly what they look like because I do I will be doing like a morning routine and this is like my perfect morning routine so I love waking up between 5 I want to say like 5 30 and 6 30 my husband will go walk Kobe or I'll go walk Kobe most of the time it's definitely my husband because he wakes up way earlier than I do every day um, then we'll get started with breakfast but it's something light like something very very like light so I usually will just have like a banana or an apple um, but then I always have to have my coffee like that's just like my must-have um, I have my coffee and then I go straight in the gym if it's not cold, we'll take Kobe out for a walk, like a really not light, nice long walk because he is a golden retriever, he has a lot of energy, so we have to do everything that we can as doggy parents to burn off his energy, but because it's so freaking cold out right now, it's literally like four degrees out, there's no way we can go for a long walk, you know? But anyway, when it's nice out, we like to take Kobe out for a walk. We'll take like our coffee to go and just like do a quick family walk, which is so nice and just really like gets our day started. Then I like to come back and go straight in the gym because Kobe is tired, you know, and my husband and I will just like go straight in the gym, work out for, you know, anywhere between like 45 minutes to an hour. I really have been pushing myself to stay in the gym for an hour, um, come back, and then I have my proper breakfast. All that is done by 9 o'clock. So I've already walked Kobe, had breakfast, went to the gym, you know, all that before 9 o'clock. Now, the best thing that I've done for myself, you guys, while I eat breakfast, is I read. And I'm not talking about my phone, I read my freaking books. I have so many books. If you guys wanna see like a whole video on like self-help books or just like inspiring books that I love, I'm more than happy to do that in the new year. Let me know in the comments below. But I have been reading and just, you guys, like when someone tells you like knowledge is power and just like the best thing you can do yourself for yourself is to just read a freaking book a day, they are not lying. Like just read a book, any book that you want, something that gets your day started, something that inspires you, you know, because it's like this amazing knowledge and it's kind of like having your own mentor from all over the world. You know what I mean? Like all different mentors. So I always like to read a book as I'm having my breakfast with my husband. Then I like to go ahead and just get started with work. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I do like to meditate somewhere between that whole, in that whole time frame as well. I really haven't been meditating as I used to, you guys. And again, I can see a difference in my body for sure. Like, it's crazy what a difference meditation, meditating had made for my life. And I kind of stopped, I don't even know why. I guess I just got too busy, which is such a stupid excuse, but I did. But I definitely want to go back to that. In fact, right after I finish this video, I'm going to quickly do like a 10 minute meditation. That's all you need is 10 minutes and everybody has 10 minutes for themselves. So right after that, after reading for just a few minutes, like anywhere between like 15 to 20 minutes while I eat my breakfast, I just jump on and get my day started. And just doing all of those things, you guys, has like that's like my perfect daily routine. And when I was doing those on a regular basis, my life was so much better and I just felt so productive overall. And now I've kind of like fallen off tracks a little bit. I've been waking up a little bit later. Like I've been waking up, today I woke up at like freaking eight o'clock, you guys. And I felt like most of my day was already wasted. Um, you know, I'm not a morning person at all, but waking up in the morning early and just getting all that done has really transformed my life. So I do encourage you guys to also wake up early. My makeup is pretty much done, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. By the way, look how crazy long my hair is. Isn't it so long? I actually think I'm gonna cut it again very soon, but this time I'm gonna cut it like straight. I want like a straight, like very like blunt cut. So stay tuned for that because I will be cutting it in the new year. I just don't wanna get rid of the length too, too much. I wanna keep the length, but just get like a very straight cut. No more layers for me. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyeliner, apply my falsies, and then I'm gonna come back and finish off with the lips. So I will be back in just a few minutes. 
Okay guys, so I'm finally back and this is my final look. Um, I just went ahead and quickly straightened my hair, not too, too much because my hair naturally is pretty straight and I'm really loving parting my hair in the center even though this is not like the center center but it's like close enough for me. For some reason I just cannot part my hair like right in the center um, but I am liking how my hair looks. I love this hoodie you guys. I freaking love this hoodie so much. It's not even a hoodie, it's actually a one piece, like a bodysuit. Um, I will link it in the description box below. I bought this last year from Misguided and I did see that they have it again this year so I will link it in the description box for you and I'll also insert like a picture right here of me wearing this so you guys can see what it looks like. I freaking love it. I would just say get like a size larger than usual. This is in the extra small or small, but next time I would get a medium because this is like skin tight. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like skin tight. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me, like this chit chatty get ready with me. I honestly loved it so much. So I hope to do more of these in the future. I want to do like you know, I want to break it down by like topics. Like the next one I want to do, I want to talk all about my Invisalign. Like one of the topics would be about my Invisalign and my experience with it so far because it's been amazing. I want to do one where I talk about Kobe and like, you know, having him now for a full year, what that experience has been like and all that good stuff. So if you guys want to see more like personal chit chatty type videos, let me know in the comment section below. Please, please, please take a quick second and subscribe to my channel in the bottom section below or you can just click my face right over here and that will subscribe you to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media as usual. They will also be linked in the description box below and I'll probably just put link them right here for you guys as well and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!